start. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The voice strong, well, okay, inshallah. Bismillah wa salatu wa salatu wa alihi wa sahbihi un wala. Allahumma alimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'ana bima alimtana ya rabbil alameen. Okay, inshallah, today we're going to do surat, start from surat al-fatih, tafsir of surat al-fatih, which is around four pages and a half. Today we're going to do one page, inshallah. Subhanallah, it is very, very important to understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people, they read the Quran, they read the Tajweed, they memorize the Quran, and, but they don't know the message of the Quran. Okay? And it's very important, like, you know, when we read the Quran, we know what's going on. Not all surah, but at least like some surah. Okay? Especially, for example, this surah, because this one linked with the Events happen at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Talk now will be two types. Okay. One, we're going to explain the story behind this surah. Okay, which is Hudaybiyah. Then we go ayah by ayah. Okay. Okay. Just we have to understand, yani, from beginning. Muslims, they were in Mecca, in Mecca, okay? And they stayed in Mecca 13 years. After 13 years, they migrated to Medina. In Medina, we have Battle of Badr. And then Battle of Uhud. Then after a while, two, three years, Battle of Al-Hud, uh, Al-Ahzab. The Battle of Trunj. Okay, the Battle of Trunj. What happens in this battle? Mushrikeen, not same as battle of Uhud or Badr. Badr, Muslims 314 against 1,000. Uhud, 700 Muslims against 2,000. Battle of the trench, Mushrikeen came with 10,000. And Muslims, maybe 1,000, one, one half thousand, that's it. And the aim of battle of the trench that Mushrikeen, they came to wipe out Muslims. They kill all Muslims. Not just like battle in the desert, in Uhud or Badr. Okay, they came to end, you know, Islam. And they did siege and was very hard. وَبَلَغَتِ الْقُلُوبُ الْحَنَاجِرِ It was, subhanAllah, so hard. In this battle, the, one of the most difficult battle on Muslims, and there is no physical fighting. All subhanallah psychologically. Okay? Muslims, you know, they experienced difficult moments. After Battle of Badr, uh, sorry, Trench of the Battle of the Trench, after finished, then one year and a half, a Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw a true vision. Okay, طبعا, vision one from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One from shaitan and one from everyone's soul. Like for example, if you if you love politics, you you know you have dream about politics. If you love sport, you have dream about sport. You, if you love gaming, you know you have dream about the game you're playing. Oh, mashallah. Okay, one from Allah, one from shaitan, one from everyone's soul. He saw a true vision that Muslims will come back to Mecca and perform Umrah. Okay, perform. He told the Sahaba, the Sahaba were subhanAllah, so excited, so happy. And then they go to Mecca, they went to Mecca to perform Umrah, not to fight. What happened now, subhanAllah? 1,400 Sahabi companions, they went with the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, to perform Umrah. And they took some weapon just for protection on the way, but not for fighting. Fighting is different weapon. Because they only went to perform Umrah. SubhanAllah, just if you understand, like, you know, try to imagine what's going on. Just one year and a half, the Mushrikeen came to Medina to end Muslims, to wipe out all Muslims. After just one year, one year and a half, the Muslims went to Mecca to perform Umrah. 
you know, and for mushrikeen, it's very good opportunity. Okay, they came to Mecca to fight them and khalas, you know, end them. Not, they don't have to go to Medina or travel, you know, or like more difficulties. And subhanAllah, this is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tab'al, in their way, mushrikeen knew that Muslims came to Mecca to do Umrah or whatever. They sent some people in their way to fight them. Okay? Then, subhanAllah, we have one salah called Salatul Khawf. Pray, the fear, prayer. Okay? The Imam will pray to Rak'ah. Okay? The Imam will pray to Rak'ah. And people behind the Imam will be two groups. One group not praying to protect the people who are praying. Second group, second group with the Imam praying. The Imam will lead first rak'ah, normal. Second rak'ah, the Imam will read long surah in second rak'ah. And then people behind the Imam will finish the salah by themselves. And then they replace the people who did not pray yet. Then the people who are protecting them, they come and join the Imam. And the Imam is still in second rak'ah. When they join the Imam, they will pray with the Imam one rak'ah. And then the Imam, when he does tashahud at the end, he will make the tashahud long. Until the people behind the Imam, they have to need, they need to pray another one rak'ah by themselves. Behind the Imam, but the Imam doing tashahud. Okay? Then they pray another rak'ah behind the Imam. And then when everyone like doing tashahud, finish the tashahud, then the Imam will give salam with the second group. Subhanallah. This is important of Salatul Jama'ah. Fighting, dead, together, scared, and they still have to pray Jama'ah. And SubhanAllah, now, MashaAllah, we have car, we have everything, air conditioning, MashaAllah. And some people can't be bothered to pray Jama'ah. SubhanAllah, imagine in battlefield, fighting, together, scared, there's still Jama'ah. Two groups, all oh, this, SubhanAllah, what happened? That's why some scholars said, praying in Jama'ah, some, it's the obligation. Okay? Continue, inshaAllah. Tab'an, subhanAllah, Prophet Muhammad, he changed his way. He didn't go with the main way. He changed his way to avoid the people who came to fight him. Because he didn't go to fight. <coughs> okay, Hudaybah agreement. Okay, inshallah. What happened now, when they arrived to Hudaybiyah place, the she camel of Prophet Muhammad did not go to Mecca, stopped. And some sahabs said, oh, why did she stop? Then he said, the reason this she camel stopped, same reason as the elephant stopped. Okay, which is from Allah Azza wa Jal. You know, from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. Then, when he stopped, he sent Uthman عنه, to Mecca to represent Muslims, okay, about what they are coming to do, what they are going to do. Just perform Ash Umrah. What, what did Quraysh do? They kept Uthman with them. They didn't release, release Uthman. Okay? And then, Prophet Muhammad Ash, the news came that Uthman is killed. Because they kept him three days. Normally with messengers, you don't keep the messenger. You have to respect the messenger, you know, whatever. Like regardless about the conclusion or the result, messenger, no one can touch the messenger. But they kept Uthman three days. Then the news came that Uthman is killed. When the news came that Uthman is killed, the Prophet Muhammad asked the Sahaba, okay, to give him a pledge. Why? When they came from Medina out to Mecca, they didn't have intention to fight. But now the, diff the situation is different, okay? Then maybe they have to fight. Then he asked them to give a pledge. Tab'an the Sahaba, 1,400 Sahabi gave a pledge under the tree. لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ يُبَيْعُونَكْ تَحْتَ الشَّجَرَةِ Okay, under the tree in Al-Hudaybiyah. فَعَلِمَ مَا فِي قُلُمِ The ayah. And subhanAllah, there's hadith. Everyone gave pledge under the tree. Fire will not touch him. Okay, 1,400 Sahabi. Oh, 
اوكي ان شاء الله وات ديد المشركين دو they sent one man his name Urwa bin Mas'ud this man subhanallah very respected person and has like you know a high rank when he comes anywhere he goes with the kings he meets with the kings okay with the leaders Urwa bin Mas'ud there is one ayah talked about him like indirectly but about him the mushrikeen said if the Quran was revealed on Urwa or Al-Walid ibn al-Mughira, which is the father of Khalid al-Walid. You know Khalid al-Walid, his father? He said, if the Quran was revealed in one of these two people, we accept the Quran. But the Quran revealed to Muhammad, we don't accept. Tab'al, people, like you know, people, they have standard. And Allah Azza wa Jal has different standard. Okay? Allah Azza wa Jal doesn't look like who has like high rank or subhanAllah. You know, not about the who's like famous or not famous, about subhanahu the character, about the iman, about the heart, okay? About the leadership. Like many, many subhanAllah characteristics of our, our Prophet salam, better than Urwa and Al-Walid bin Mughira, okay? وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ عَلَىٰ رَجُلْ مِنَ الْقَرْيَتَيْنِ الْعَظِيمِ قَرْيَتَيْنِ means two cities, Mecca and Ta'if. Mecca, the father of Khalid bin Al-Walid, Al-Walid bin Mughira. He's not Muslim. And Urwa bin Mas'ud, the man who just came. Urwa bin Mas'ud came from Mecca to Muslims. Then when he saw Muslims, he said, Ya Rasulullah, he said, Oh Muhammad, when the war start, when the fighting start, your friends, your companions, Sahaba, will leave you alone. I will be alone. You will fight alone. SubhanAllah, the Sahaba showed Urwa bin Mas'ud how much they love and respect Prophet Muhammad Sallam. When he came, he, when he went back to Mecca, he told people of Mecca, please don't fight th these people. Never fight these people. He said, Wallah, I went to kings. I saw so many kings, so many people behind, like, around the kings. I have never seen people respect their leader, same as the Sahaba did with Muhammad Sallam. Okay? I've never seen. They respect him, subhanAllah. Well, if he talks, they, subhanAllah, quiet, listen. And they, you know, look at, with him, at him with respect. If he makes wudu, the remaining water, they can take the water as a blessing, subhanAllah, from Allah Azza wa Jal. Then he, he advised them not to fight Muslims. SubhanAllah, when he advised them, then they sent another man. Do you know what his name? Okay, Suhail bin Amr. What happened to Suhail bin Amr? Suhail, what does Suhail mean? Sahel. Easy, yeah. <laughs> when he said Suhail, because his name like from easy, easiness, he said, your matter will be easy. This is to think good about Allah, fa'al, okay? <coughs> then subhanAllah, Suhail came to make conditions, okay, at Hudaybiyah place, uh, between Quraysh and Muslims. Okay, inshallah. Okay, we'll go with the conditions of Al Hudaybiyah. Yeah. First condition, subhanAllah, no war between each other for 10 years. Okay, no war between Muslims and Mushrikeen for 10 years. That's one condition. Second condition, Bismillah. The Muslims cannot do Umrah this year. They have to go back to Medina and perform Umrah the following year. And this was very hard on Sahaba. Imagine from here, like we're going group, 1,000 people, subhanAllah, we never like, like long, for years, we didn't see Mecca after migration, okay, to Medina, for, subhanAllah, and traveling was so hard, not easy. After they travel with Muhammad Salam, the Messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal, they are about to arrive to Mecca, very close. And they have to go back. And you know, tahleel, when if someone in Ihram just shave the hair, if they have animal, you know, sacrifice the animal for Allah Azza wa Jal, and go back to Medina, I perform Umrah next year for three days. The Sahaba, subhanAllah, was very hard on them, very hard. And that's why, subhanAllah, some Sahaba, 
did not shave the hair straight away immediately because they think maybe Jibreel will come, you know, that the, yeah, the rule will change, you know, something will happen. Okay? Okay, third condition, Bismillah. Okay, this one, third condition, subhanAllah, if someone from Mecca became Muslim and wants to go to Medina to, to join Muslims, not allowed. But if someone from Medina, Muslim, wants to be kafir or disbeliever and go to Mecca and join people in Mecca, he's allowed. Okay? SubhanAllah, like, when you see, this one, like, it's not fair. But SubhanAllah, the reality, what's the benefit if someone among Muslim is against them? What's the benefit? If someone doesn't want Islam, we don't, you know, uh, hold people, you must be, you know, Muslim, you must be with us. No, no, no. This is between you and Allah Azza wa Jalla. You're only benefiting yourself, no one else. If someone doesn't want to be to be Muslim and go to Mecca, he's allowed. Okay. Taban, if someone in, Medi in Mecca wants to migrate to Medina, not allowed. But he's allowed to be Muslim there. But not migrate. For ruling now. SubhanAllah, what happened? One Sahabi, he migrated to Medina after this condition. And he was uh, returned to Mecca as the condition. Then he ran away and he stayed in a place between Mecca and Medina. Then another Sahabi became Muslim and he joined him. He could not go to Medina. Then a few Sahaba joined them. When Mushrikeen want to travel to Sham, to north, they come and attack them. <laughs> okay? Because they took their money and they kicked them out. You, they have family, they, ha they have animals, they have, you know, maybe like money, everything, house, everything. They take everything from them and kick them the out. Then they try to take something back. What happened when, subhanAllah, the number incre increases, the mushrikeen themselves came to Prophet Muhammad and told him, please take them and make them under your supervision. Okay, condition number four. Any party is allowed to join like anyone from Arab tribe allowed to join any party to be with Quraysh or with Prophet Muhammad there's one tribe called Bani Bakr okay they joined Quraysh Mushrikeen and there's one tribe Bani Khuzayma also Mushrikeen joined the party of or the side of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa okay and subhanAllah this is what happened Okay, the war for how long? Ten years, yes? Do you know when conquer of Mecca happened? Like how long? Yes? Two years? The, the, now there's no fighting for ten years, yes? This ten years did not finish. Just two years was enough, okay? Because the Mushrikeen, they broke the agreement. Okay? What happened? The, the tribe of Bani Bakr, not Quraysh from Abib Bani Bakr. They killed from people from Bani Khuzayma, which is with Prophet Muhammad's side. Bani Bakr, Bani Khuzayma, both Mushrikeen, not Muslim. But Bani Khuzayma with the side of Prophet Muhammad And Bani Bakr with the side of Quraysh. Then they killed from Bani Khuzayma. Then Bani Khuzayma came to Prophet Muhammad and they told him, we are with you, you have to ish. Okay, take our right. Okay? Then they broke the, agree broke the agreement. SubhanAllah, it was not يعني, uh, 10 years. Then SubhanAllah, just two years, the conquer of Mecca, SubhanAllah, happened. Okay, when they want to write the condition, okay, Taban Suhail became Muslim, SubhanAllah, later on. <laughs> but now he's not Muslim. Then Ali ibn Abi Talib was the writer. Then Prophet Muhammad Sallam, he told him, write, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Then Suhail said, we don't know who's the Rahman. Is this ayah in the Quran? What's about the Rahman? Qalu wa mar Rahman. They don't know what's who's the Rahman. Atasjudu lima ta'amuruna wa zaadahum nufura. Subhanallah, they deny the name of the Rahman. Then he asked Ali to say, Bismika Allahumma. Okay, not the Rahman Rahim. Then he said, this is the conditions that Prophet Muhammad, as agreed upon then he said 
He said, if you are, if we believe you are messenger from Allah Azza wa Jal, we didn't fight you. You cannot say you are the messenger of Allah in the agreement. Just you have to say Muhammad. Then Ali Rahim subhanahu he said, it was difficult on me, uh, you know, to wipe out Muhammad. Then a Prophet Muhammad himself, he wiped out his name. Okay, subhanAllah. We got next, inshallah. Then with Umar, radiallahu anhu. Taban Umar, not only Umar, many Sahaba. It was difficult on them, very difficult. And it will come like in the ayat, subhanAllah. Umar came to Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, and he asked him, he said, are we like in the truth side? Are we in the truth? He said, yes. He said, are they in the falsehood? He said, yes. He said, are you the messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal? He said, yes. He said, are, like if anyone from our side killed will be in Jannah? He said, yes. He said, anyone from their, their side killed will be in hellfire? He said, yes. But this is for the, uh, like in, in debate, okay, in deba one of the skills of debate, you ask someone, Questions he agrees. Okay, you bring him, you know, is it, is it? Then he said, yes, yes. Then you bring him to your point. Not like first one, you know, he disagree. Then slowly, this is like skills for like debate skills. You ask questions, the other side, okay, agree with you. Then you go from there. Then he said at the end, why do we accept this, such these conditions? Like if we need to fight, we fight. It doesn't care. Like if you die, we will be in Jannah. Subhanallah, this is the from Allah Azza wa Jal. You have two plans, okay? One, long plan and safe. Second one, short plan and not safe and involve blood and you know, shed blood and people will be killed. And not, not guarantee, not safe, Allahu Alam. If yes or no, okay? If they win or not win. But second, first one, long plan, long term and safe, okay? Subhanallah also was not, not too easy for on him, subhanallah, but subhanallah he accepted and he said, I am the messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal and I will not disobey Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah will give me a victory. Okay? This is subhanallah, when you submit to Allah Azza wa Jal, then the ayah comes. Inna fatahna laka. After this incident, Inna fatahna laka fathan mubina. Taban subhanallah. Yeah, just before this ayah, subhanAllah, what, what, what's the con like benefits of this agreement? Muslims mixed with non-Muslims, and they have opportunity to listen to the Quran. Because subhanAllah, now in the media, Muslims, 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 but when they meet Muslims face to face, and they meet them like in real, in real, li in real life, okay, they understand the true message of Islam. Then, even there is media before. Muslims, Muslims, Muslims. When they met, met Muslims and mixed with Muslims, many of them accepted Islam. Secondly, Quraysh accepted Muslims as state. Not just like a group of people and they fight them any, any time they want. Even when they accept them as state, other tribe respect Muslims. They have power, they have country. They are ruling. Third benefit, some Muslims, they were in Abyssinia, in Ethiopia. They came back to Medina. Number four, a prophet, when he, there's no fighting, he's starting giving da'wah to everyone. The kings in Persia, in, in Sham, in Egypt, the leader of the tribes, the leader of the tribes, he will send, like, he, will, he sent many letters. And he started giving da'wah to Muslims in the Arabic Peninsula. Islam, subhanAllah, became ish, widespread in the Arab, Arabic, Arabic Peninsula, Arabic land. In two years, subhanAllah, Muslims were, were 1,400. In two years, 10,000. They came to conquer ish, Mecca, okay? In two years, and subhanAllah, with no fighting, because the Muslims were, became like very strong, Al Mushrikeen became very weak. And he came salam, with no fighting. And he was, subhanAllah, very humble to Allah Azza wa Jal. When he was on his horse, he was putting his head, subhanAllah, down, out of respect. Not like chewing off 
I have one th uh, ten thousand, or I'm strong. Subhanallah. When he conquered Mecca, Muslims believe if he's real messenger from Allah Azza wa Jal, or sorry, Mushrikeen, if he from Allah Azza wa Jal, when he control Mecca, they accept. Because they, they have belief, if he's not a true messenger, he will not have opportunity to control and rule Mecca. Okay, inshallah. Now with the ayat, first ayah, inna fatahna laka fathan mubina. Indeed, we have given you, O Muhammad, a clear conquest. Ibn Mas'ud, he said, when you mention Fatih, conquest or conquer, he said, your mind goes to conquer of Mecca. And he said, us, the Sahaba, we used to say the conquer of Salah Hudaybiyah. Because this is the real conquest. Why? Because after Salah Hudaybiyah, like Mushrikeen look so strong. And Muslims, you know, number less, everything less. After Salah Hudaybiyah, Muslims come to Ish. SubhanAllah, much, much stronger. Okay, the Islam becomes widespread, Muslims come strong, they have a state, you know, they are ruling. Okay, they rule a state, Medina, they have uh, agreement with other tribe, with the Yahud, with SubhanAllah. He said, this is like from this moment, khalas, Muslims became Ish, like victorious. The next ayah, لِيَغْفِرَ لَكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَّرْ وَيُتِمَّ نِعْمَتَهُ عَلَيْكَ وَيَهْدِيَكَ صِرَاطًا مُسْتَقِيمًا So that Allah Azza wa Jal may forgive you for your past and future shortcomings. Perfect your favor upon you, guide you along the straight path. Okay? SubhanAllah, why Allah Azza wa Jal said, so that Allah may forgive you? Because SubhanAllah, after conquer of Sulh Hudaybiyah, okay, it was very difficult. He became, he has like patience in his heart. He accepted the message from Allah Azza wa Jal to accept these conditions, okay? And SubhanAllah, many ta'at, many obedience happened because of this. And many people accepted Islam after this incident, okay? And that's why SubhanAllah, one of the privileges of our Prophet, of Prophet Muhammad SAW, that Allah Azza wa Jal has forgave him for past and future shortcomings. Perfect, perfect your uh, favor upon you. Because Allah Azza wa Jal will give them uh, the victory and give and uh, make the mushrikeen uh, weaker. That subhanAllah, that you will be successful and happy in your life. Next ayah number three. وَيَنْصُرَكَ اللَّهُ نَصْرًا عَزِيزًا That Allah Azza wa Jal may aid you with a mighty victory. Clear victory. Okay? Nasran Aziza, which is Hudaybiyah Treaty. As we say, subhanAllah, Muslims became so strong. They have money. They growing so fast. And then next ayah. هُوَ الَّذِي أَنزَلَ السَّكِينَةَ فِي قُلُوبِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ لِيَزْدَادُوا إِيمَانًا مَعَ إِيمَانِهِمْ It is he, Allah Azza wa Jal, who sent down tranquility. طبعاً, Sakina in this surah mentioned a few, few, few times, at least three times in this surah. Tranquility in your heart. Sometimes in your life, since you have iman, you have patience, you connect with Allah Azza wa Jal, when a problem happened to you, subhanAllah, you accept. You, your heart Okay? There's peaceful in your heart. Okay? You have happiness in your heart. When something happened, you still accept it. Okay? Allah Azza wa Jal strengthens the iman of the believer. Some people, subhanAllah, they don't accept, you know, it becomes very hard on them. Then they have, subhanAllah, I don't know, mental health. <laughs> With Muslims, subhanAllah, in the heart, even like so problem, many problems happen occur on the, on the Muslim. But his heart, subhanAllah, connected with Allah Azza wa Jal. There's sakina, okay? Tranquility in his heart or her heart. He sent down tranquility onto the heart of the believers that would increase in faith along with their present faith. When the Sahaba, they knew these conditions from Allah Azza wa Jal, okay? They didn't say, oh, you are our leader, but you are weak. Why accept this, you know? Subhanallah, they accept it. They completely submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. Okay? And they have patience. And everything happened with Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala's permission. 
then they had iman and because of this their iman increases liyazdadu imanan ma'a imanihim their iman will increase with the iman they had ish before and Allah Azza wa made them steadfast on the deen. And Allah said, وَلِلَّهِ جُنُودُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, belong the soldiers of the heaven and the earth. And ever is Allah Azza wa knowing and wise. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because the mushrikeen, they believe, they think, the mushrikeen said, when Muslims went to perform Umrah and Mecca, they have feeling that Allah Azza wa Jal will not give Muslims a victory. Okay? They will not give, and Muslims will be in trouble. Why? Just imagine one year, one year and a half ago, the mushrikeen came to kill all Muslims. And the Muslims themselves went to Mecca to perform Umrah. Okay? And they had feeling that Allah Azza wa Jal will not give victory to Muslims, and Muslims will be like in trouble. Maybe like half of them killed or... And that's what SubhanAllah mentioned. And to Allah Azza wa Jal, the soldiers in the heaven in the air, and in the earth. Just for our يعني, message, for Muslims, not always they have to be, like in every battle, they have to win. Okay? Taban, there's conditions. There's conditions we have to meet. But if, some, if this is happened every single time, okay, just everyone come Muslim, because every, every time you're going to win. Then Allah Azza wa Jal, from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, sometimes it shake the people. Is their Iman strong or weak? And the battle of the change, what Allah mentioned, وَزُلْزِلُوا زِلْزَالًا شَدِيدًا زِلْزَال What's Zilzal? Earth, quick, quick. Okay? وَزُلْزِلُوا Why? When earthquake happen, okay, you have buildings. MashaAllah, very nice buildings. Some of them strong, some of them weak, fake. When the shake happened, the weak building will age fall down. Similarly with the Iman. Some they have subhanAllah strong Iman and they will be steadfast, and others they have weak Iman. If any problem happen, they leave the, the Iman. So, uh, one ayah, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبَدُ اللَّهِ عَلَى حَرْفِ Haraf يعني طرف. Like someone worship Allah Azza wa Jalla like in the side. Okay, here in the edge. If something happened good, good to him, he continue. If something hap didn't happen like not, not good happened to him, then fell down. You know, subhanAllah. Then Allah Azza wa Jalla sometimes, okay, the victory takes time for them to, you know, to take the victory, not straight away. The next ayah, because what they have done, they had patience, they accepted the message, they listened to our Prophet Islam. Then, ليدخل المؤمنين والمؤمنات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ويكفر عنهم سيئاتهم وكان ذلك عند الله فوزا عظيما. So might admit believing men and women into gardens under which river flow, flow. rivers flow to stay there forever and absolve them of their sins. Okay, to forgive. And it wipe out their sins, and that is a premium achievement in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. And what believer wants to be in Jannah and to avoid hellfire? Okay, and this is subhanAllah what happened. This is for believers. What about to the munafiqin al mushrikeen? وَيُعَذِّبَ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ وَالْمُشْرِكَاتِ. طبعا the scholars of Hadith, oh sorry, of of Arabic or Tafsir. We don't have to mention female, because when we mention male, female already included. Okay? When we mention about male, aqimu salah, this is masculine form, the woman already included. But subhanAllah here, just to make it more clear, believing man, believing woman, okay, now about the hypocrite. Also so that he may punish hypocrites, man and woman, and politicists, man and woman, the mushrikeen. And those assume about Allah Azza wa Jal and assume all, uh, assume uh, assumption of evil nature. Sorry? Oh. I think 
لك اياها ان شاء الله هي ها Upon them is a misfurnish of evil nature and Allah Azza wa has become angry with them and has cursed them and prepared for them hell and evil it is as uh, destination. طبعاً this is a ayah that's punishment for the hypocrite, man and woman, and the mushrikeen, man and woman, who think bad, who think bad about Allah Azza wa Why? They think Allah Azza wa Jal will not give victory to believers. They will be suffering. You know, there will be hard time on Muslims. Uh, they will be killed. Something like that. Subhanallah. They didn't believe Allah Azza wa Jal will give each them a victory. Walillahi junoodu samawati wal ard. Next ayah. Subhanallah. Allah Azza wa Jal repeat this one ayah again. To Allah alone. To Allah alone belong the forces. Of the heavens and the earth, and Allah Azza wa Jal is Almighty and all wise. وكان الله عزيزا حكيما. Allah Azza wa Jal repeated this ayah two times because to show the believers that Allah Azza wa Jal is able to give victory to Muslims. Okay, how? Maybe like you don't think how, but Allah will give. In the battle of the trench, it was so difficult, so difficult. If you ask someone, if you ask you, what do you think how the battle will, will end? Imagine like 10,000, next, yeah, like just a few meters. They have all weapons, they want to kill all Muslims. They, they are well prepared. 10,000, just like a few meters. And you are here. And SubhanAllah took one month of the siege. And SubhanAllah, uh, it was uh, cold. And also hypocrites inside Medina, okay, they telling the believers, oh, the mushrikeen so strong, we will be killed. No way, we cannot get rid of, like, we cannot go, go away with it. Okay, they telling, subhanAllah, making the believers much, much weaker. Okay, the hypocrite inside Medina, um, next to, with the Muslims. Okay, mushrikeen here, Muslims here. Also, subhanAllah, it took time, was not like just a few days, and it was cold. No much food, no much water, subhanAllah. And if you ask anyone, what do you think how the, this battle will end? One subhanAllah, one hypocrite, when he heard that the Prophet, when he heard Islam will be victorious and will reach Yemen and reach Iraq, Persia, Sham. SubhanAllah, the hypocrite was, SubhanAllah, he said, doesn't make sense. How? He said, now I cannot go, for example, for a toilet. He has to go, like, just walk away, like, a few like, meters, yani, away. He said, I, I'm afraid to go there to do, like, my, my business, you know, with toilet. I'm afraid. And all Muslims, SubhanAllah, all together here, one place, and mushrikeen here, and all the factors against Muslims. And you're telling me, Muslims will be victorious, and Islam will what's like widespread and will like will be in the whole Arabic Peninsula and go to Yemen or Sham. Does make sense? أحدنا لا يأمن على قضاء حاجته ويبشرنا إيش بفتح الشام. They will conquer the Sham, conquer Yemen, conquer Iraq. Okay, Subhanallah. And that's why to remind the hypocrites. Or to remind the mushrikeen that Allah Azza wa Jal will not leave Muslims alone. Maybe take time, but not leave alone. The next ayah. Inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadira. Indeed, O Prophet, we have sent you as a witness to a deliverer of good news. Three, I warn. Ayyuhu al-Rasul al-Karim. Okay, طبعاً, this is just one benefit. Whenever Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned the name of Muhammad, sorry, Rasul, okay, Allah would say, Ya, when Allah call Prophet, will use Prophet and Messenger, not the name. Okay, but with other Prophets, Allah will use their actual name. For example, Ya Ibrahim, Ya Nuh, Ya Zakaria. Ya Yahya. When it comes to Prophet Muhammad, 
Allah does not say, Ya Muhammad, Allah will say, Ya Ayyuha Nabi, Ya Ayyuha Al Rasul, not Ya Muhammad. Okay? When Allah calls someone, okay, with the Prophet, he uses Nabi and the Rasul, Messenger and Prophet. Other Prophets and Messengers, Allah used their actual name. That's just to show the respect of our Prophet. Okay. Witness for good and bad deeds, people who do. Mubashiran, bring or deliver good news in the dunya and in the akhirah. If you are a good Muslim, subhanAllah, dunya will be good for you. Okay? Good in your heart. Okay? Not with the money, not with the thing you have, in your heart. Some people, subhanAllah, they have money, but they cannot sleep at night. They have money, but subhanAllah, they are very worried about the money, about something, something happened, they are scared. Which life? Okay? One adira, I warn for people who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, last ayah, لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا So that you believe may have faith in Allah Azza wa Jalla and His Messenger, support and honor Him and glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala morning and evening. Okay, this ayah, طبعا, to believe in the and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. To believe in Allah and his messenger. Next two words about the messenger, Muhammad Islam. The next one, about the following one about Allah Azza wa Jal. To azziruhu wa to to support him and honor him. Respect and support. Wa to sabbihuhu, this refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To, to make tasbih. Glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bukratan wa asila. In the morning and in the evening. Okay, inshallah. Inshallah, we continue from next week, inshallah. Next ayah, we have finished one page. Inshallah, we do maybe one page or a little bit more. Inshallah. In four weeks, in January, we will uh, finish the surah bi inna Allah azawajal. Taban subhanallah. Uh, some people advised me, said many people, they start many surah tafsir, and but they don't finish it. Like halfway, then they stop. Inshallah, we try to finish the surah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, there are many benefits, many lessons we could, you know, derive from this surah. Subhanallah, like if you just example, we mentioned about the conquer of Mecca. How the conquer of Mecca will happen? Now, 10 years, Okay, there's no fighting. Ten years. You have to wait ten years. You know, like after this, uh, how many years the Prophet passed away? After this agreement, Hudaybi agreement? Allah alam, four years. If the ten years finished, he wouldn't be able to conquer of Mecca. Okay? Then, subhanAllah, what happened? Just be, leave it with Allah. Okay? Ten years. After two years, Muslims became very strong. Everywhere, mashaAllah, al mushrikeen became each, the number of mushrikeen decreasing, and they became each weak. Then, one of the conditions in Hudaybiyah Treaty, anyone from Arabic tribe allowed to join any party. Then we have Bani Bakr and Bani Khuzayma. Bani Khuzayma, mushrikeen, and Bani Bakr also mushrikeen. Both of them, okay, Bani Khuzayma joined Muslims. Bani Bakr joined Bani Quraysh. Then, Bani Bakr killed from Bani Khuzayma. From this, the victory of Allah came. <laughs> because the agreement, you know, broken, khalas, and then Muslims came to Mecca, okay, to take over or to control Mecca without any fighting. SubhanAllah, what is the strength of Mushrikeen? What are the 10,000, you know, they brought before? What are they? They, w they were not able to, SubhanAllah, subhanallah even to try. And subhanAllah, Prophet when he came to conquer Mecca, he didn't take advantage. He didn't say khalas. Okay? He said, if you are at your house, if you are at Masjid al-Haram, you are khas, you are safe. If you are at the house of Abu Sufyan, okay, you are safe. Because Abu Sufyan, he was leader of Mushrikeen that time. If you are at your house and you close your door, you are safe. Okay? SubhanAllah, he gave them a safe. Okay, security. 
After he controlled, they said, oh, maybe now just for the fighting, after he controlled, he will, you know, kill many people from us, and he will take, you know, all of them one by one. He said, اذهبوا فأنتم الطلقاء. So you are free. Then the Mushrikeen said, Muhammad said, he doesn't want the, our bodies to be killed, but he didn't take our bodies, but he took our heart. <laughs> yes, subhanAllah. He doesn't want our body just to torture or kill. Or, no, no, no. He took our heart. And that's why, subhanAllah, they accepted Islam. Okay? Insha'Allah. Jazakumallah khairan. Any questions? Khalas, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.